DreamWorks title is like 30 seconds. That's way too long. Our story begins high over New York City in narration. My name is Mr. Peabody. Breaking the fourth wall this early in the movie? They're not even trying. I never was. Nerd alert. I don't want this one, Mommy. He's sarcastic. Ooh, sick burn. I received my degree at Harvard. Valedogtorian, of course. Dog pun. Resolve geopolitical conflicts around the globe. If only world peace was that simple. <laughs> Doctor Who ripoff. I love cake so much. I think they speak French in France. I don't know, just a guess. During Marie's reign, the common people of France were exceedingly poor. Shit, am I in a history class now? I'm guessing DreamWorks made this movie to fill their quota of educational programming. I noticed the distance between the sewer lids, reason that there must be one directly under the guillotine platform. This is kind of like Sherlock Holmes for kids. Who can tell me who he is? Shit, am I in a history class now? So you eat human food, huh? Yeah, why wouldn't I? Because you're a dog. She called him a dog? That's racist. I am Miss Grunion from the Bureau of Child Safety and Protection. Jesus, some of these human animations are really creepy. If a boy can adopt a dog, I see no reason why a dog cannot adopt a boy. That's the dumbest logic I've ever heard. You really can't think of one reason a dog can't adopt a boy? They're not human. Thanks for going to the trouble of explaining how and when Mr. Peabody adopted Sherman. While I appreciate the attention to detail, I don't think an explanation is really necessary when your movie has a fucking talking dog. Explain the talking dog if you want to explain shit. You're barking up the wrong tree, mister. Another great dog joke. Those never get old. Don't even think about it. This girl's being a bitch for no reason. Sitar. Steel drums. Trombone. Peabody's a bit of a show-off, huh? What do you know about Sigmund Freud? This girl kind of looks like a brat doll. Because I could take it home, pretend to be sick, and not come to this lame dinner party. This kid just showed you a time machine and you still think this party's lame? What an idiot. Do you do everything Mr. Peabody says? Yeah. Except when you told her about the Wayback Machine. Peabody told you not to. Don't tell her about the Wayback. He called me a liar for saying George Washington never cut down a cherry tree. So you took her to see George Washington? That's quite a first date. This kid's trying a little too hard. I learned that trick from a swami at the Bhagawangiri in Ubud Bali. Let's go! Are those even words? What's the matter, my sweet little desert blossom? I think these Egyptians might really speak Egyptian. King Tut is your boyfriend? I guess she's into black dudes. Do the puzzle exactly as I did. Yeah, come on, Sherman. Don't you remember when they did this on Indiana Jones? Peabody. I would love to help you. I think Italians probably speak Ita- Ah, fuck it. I'm sure flying that piece of crap isn't that easy. She's got a ton of eyeliner on for a little kid. Oh dear, a black hole! Black hole, son, won't you come? Why didn't you tell me Miss Brunny was trying to take me away from you? Why don't you guys try surviving this black hole before you worry about what Peabody's telling you? We're on the brink of one of history's most ferocious conflicts. This is the second war these guys have happened to be at the beginning of. Convenient. Don't even get me started about Oedipus. Let's just say that you do not want to be at his house over the holidays. It's awkward. Incest joke. For all the kiddies who happen to read ancient Greek tragedies. Help me! Oh good, they lost Penny again. Always nice to have something to chase after in these flicks. Now, come on! Miss Grunion, be Grunion, careful! No! The way this lady's grabbing Sherman is way worse than what Peabody was doing to him. There he is! After them! Penny, my queen, I know you're in there! The random stuff coming through the black hole just happens to be all the people they interacted with earlier. Convenient. <laughs> don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna remember that kid who got tased eight years ago. I didn't do anything! And don't tase me, bro! For kidnapping, reckless endangerment, and a multiplicity of major traffic violations! Why are the police just letting this random bitch take over? I hereby award Mr. Peabody a presidential pardon. Me too! I've done worse. How did Bill Clinton end up here? He's not from the past. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. I like how Isaac Newton just carries an apple around because... reasons. I guess when you travel to the future, fireworks come out. She will be bound to him in eternity through the sacred ceremonies of disembowelment and mummification. As described in the holy texts. Brookshow!